I'm sorry, Mr. Spaulding, but I was on the phone. Well, that's all right. Oh, look, I'm late for lunch with Vanessa. If you'll both excuse me. Oh, what's me, the I'm... rush, Carla? Stay and have a drink with Ed and me. What are you doing here, anyway? Well, I, I stopped by to see Alan to ask him about Alexandra. I miss her. Let me guess. You're here to talk about Rick's hearing. And you're not going to get anywhere as near that committee. I have information that the medical standards people deserve to hear. I, I really must be leaving. I... Alan, I don't know what you've cooked up or who you've cooked it up with. But the committee isn't stupid. They're going to know the truth when they hear it. Vanessa's waiting for me. If you'll both excuse me. Yes, of course, Carla. Thanks nice. for stopping in. Nice to see you, Ed. Look, you don't want to ruin my son's future. Rick ruined his own future. His negligence of Philip almost cost him his life. I'll be damned if I let that happen again. Now, but you don't care about Rick. And you don't care about Philip. What you want is me. I've heard that alcoholics often have an inflated sense of self-importance. You know, after all this time and you still want revenge. I mean, what is the point? Haven't you done enough to me? Rita is ancient history. What about my niece? Her one sin was that she fell in love with you, and then you drove her away, and you turned her back on the son that she gave you? That's a pitiful history, Alan. Thanks for the sentiment. I'd return the feeling, but there's not enough of you left to pity. All right, look, let's just leave our children out of this. All right, and that goes for Claire and Maureen, too. I'm the one you want, and I'll take you on any time you want. How touching, standing tall for wife and mistress. Well, you never learn, do you? You never quit. I'll crush you. After I've taken care of Rick. You want a war, don't you? I see this more in evolutionary terms. The survival of the fittest. It's fine by me. Till the hearing, then. I'll look forward to it. mistake I ever made was becoming involved with you. I couldn't care less what you think of my adopting Dory. I said it because I care about you and Dory. I hope that giving you the castle would be proof. It proves nothing. All it shows me is that you want to run my life, Alan. You know how important it is to, for me to get her. Why ruin it? I didn't say it to be cruel, and I will keep my word. I will do everything I can to facilitate the adoption. But I just don't happen to think it's a good idea. And I know what I'm talking about. I've come to know you pretty well these past few months, and I just don't think it's in your best interest. Well, who the hell are you to think you know what my best interests are? Especially when it comes to children, you're hardly up for Father of the Year award. All the more reason why I know I'm right. I've already made all the mistakes that you're about to make. And now you're clairvoyant. Dory will lack nothing. She needs a loving mother, not an unlimited expense account. Material or otherwise. You know, I get the feeling that your idea of being a good mother is uh, buying her pretty dresses and tucking her in and collecting goodnight hugs. Don't patronize me, Alan. Of course there's more to it than that. The bond Dory and I have will see us through whatever we have to face. That's bull, and you know it. You don't know the first thing about children or what they and need. And you do! No, no more than you do, because neither of us had a childhood. My father gave me everything but love, time, and attention. Oh, my father gave all of that to me, and more. Your father was a selfish alcoholic who forced you to create a fantasy of paternal love that you're still hiding behind. You're desperate for Dory's love because of your loneliness. How dare you? Look, I'm not talking about you and me. We're talking about Dory and what she needs, so listen to me. She needs a real home, one with, with security, and constancy and reliability. And she needs to be with someone that she can care about and look up to. The kind of parent that neither one of us ever had. You don't know me at all. You don't know what I am. You don't know what I've been. 
And you definitely don't know what I want. I want Dory. And I'll do whatever is necessary to keep her. 